Minecraft has a lot of different mobs, and some of them are so rare that they're almost impossible to find. But in case you guys forgot, I am the hardcore king. And if there's something rare in Minecraft, I need to have it. So today, we're gonna collect all of Minecraft's rarest mobs and make a giant museum for them. All in Minecraft hardcore. I can't envision one thing going wrong today. <laughs> It's gonna be perfect. Okay, so first up on the list is... The Flying Pig. Well, I guess my editor lied in the intro about the flying pig. But let's get serious. We got a big day ahead of us. So for this plan to work, we had to make a list of all of the rarest mobs. Rarest mobs in Minecraft. Ooh, it's my video. Minecraft has a lot of mobs in it. So many, in fact, there are probably some you don't even know exist. I forgot how cringe I used to be. Ugh. But after a little more research, I compiled a color-coded list of all the rare mobs I wanted to capture. So first up on the agenda, we're going for what I like to call the classic mobs. And the first guy I'm looking for is the pink sheep. Ah, oh, it's a pig. <gasps> oh, it's more pigs. Why can't you fly? I have a feeling this might get really annoying. <laughs> According to the internet, pink sheep have a 0.16% chance of spawning, so they're really rare, but we can't make a rare mob museum without the pink sheep because it's been in the game since 2011. I am old. Oh my gosh, guys, I found, I found a pink sheep. Ignore my inventory, I found one. Yeah, I kind of cheated. Listen, my goal is to find the majority of these mobs today naturally, but you know, if I can't find them, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't got all day for this. Well, I do, but I, I don't wanna spend all day looking for pink sheep. Sorry, buddy. And that is one mob down. And it's a good thing it's nighttime because the other classic mob I wanna find is the spider jockey, which as you guys probably know, only spawns at night. Oh, spider. Spider jockey. Wait, no way. No way. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, that's a good sign for today. Just keep coming this way and don't murder me, please. Oh, I probably need a name tag for this guy too. Uh, do I have any name tags on me? Please, 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 please. I don't think I do. All right, you stay there. Don't move. I'll be right back. Spider jockey. Boom. Please, 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 please. Guys, I think our spider jockey is gone. I'm also covered in arrows right now. Oh man. Dang it. But after much diligence and patience. Why is this so difficult? Mm. I finally found another spider jockey. <gasps> another one, another one, another one. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Armor on. Okay, we're good. Take the name tags, both of you. And you're trapped in a cave. Yes. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. What is wrong with you, Mr. Spider? No, Mr. Spider. No, uh, what is wrong with you? Why? Why would he do that? I don't like this video anymore. So we had a problem. We're only two mobs in. Two mobs. One of them's dead and the other one isn't even real. So I was gonna need some help. And then he crawled up to the roof and he, he killed the skeleton. I don't know what to do anymore. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, I think I got it. I can't go chasing after the mobs. I gotta lure the mobs to me. Oh, this is gonna be good. So my original plan was to capture all the mobs and stick them in some boring old museum. But what if I made a place so amazing, so irresistible that all the mobs would have to come and live here? Like a five-star hotel. Plus, I've always wanted to build a hotel in this world, so let's do it. Why not? So I began collecting a ton of sandstone and birch wood and brought it back to the beach to begin building this hotel. So we're gonna do some of this and a little bit of this. And if we're feeling fancy, maybe we even added a a little balcony right here. Oh yeah, that's nice. Now we just gotta raise this whole thing up like 20 more levels. Let's get to work. And as I build this luxurious hotel, please subscribe and hit the bell. Introducing the Rare Mob Inn, an extraordinary hotel for Minecraft's least ordinary mobs. But would you just look at this place? It looks so cool. There's tons of floors and the rooms are empty, but they all have very cool balconies. Like, look at these views. And 
they even took the liberty to get the mobs in here. So we got the pink sheep. Nope, don't, don't leave. Stay. You're gonna like it. And I even got a new spider jockey. Hello. But check it out. If you put trap doors on the roof, the skeleton won't even suffocate. So problem solved. Oh, is someone jealous you don't get to stay in the cool hotel? Well, I don't blame you. This place is sick. Okay, on we go. So next up on our list, we have the cute mobs. And these are quite simply really rare mobs that I think are adorable. First up, the brown mushroom. And lucky for us, I actually already have one over here at my mushroom mansion. Come on, where is he? Where's the man of the hour? Hello? Well, this is not great. Because the only way to get a brown mushroom is to strike a mushroom with lightning. But it's currently sunny out. Where did he go? Oh, I totally forgot. I made a giant zoo and I think he's in here. Aha, uh -huh, there you are, my king. Come with me. We're leaving this gross, disgusting place. We're going to a fine, fancy establishment. Come on, jump out of the water. Come on, you got it. You got it. Uh, well... That was not part of the plan. All right, come on. We're praying for the good genes. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! We have a newborn child. Come with me. Say goodbye to daddy. Come on, up this way. Nice and safe. And perfect. There you go, buddy. Welcome to your new luxury home. Oh, no. I gave him the view of the giant burger. I'm so sorry, buddy. Oh, that's terrible. But carrying on, we're heading back to the zoo because the second cute mob I want to add is the brown panda bear. And once again, your boy is big brain because I have panda bears over here and you get the brown panda by actually breeding these guys. Yeah, I think that's accurate. Okay, let's do it. I'm just gonna borrow some of this bamboo right here and eat it and breed. Make babies. Okay, you're not what I want. You're also not very good at your balance, are you? It's all in the hips, my boy. It's all in the hips. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? So yeah, I spent a long time breeding pandas. Like... A long time. Snotty, sad, strawberry jammy. Or is that his tongue? This is my life now. But finally, after about 20 more minutes, we found what we were looking for. <gasps> the brown panda! I didn't even notice him until right now. Get out of the way, my child. Come here. Oh, I can't put him on a lead, can I? Well, I'm gonna have to go with plan B. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? All right, get in the boat. Yes, I got him. Now just to find a way to get him out of here. And right this way, buddy. We're getting out of here. Easy peasy. Oh my gosh, wait. Won't this guy just follow me if I have bamboo in my hand? Why do I make my life so difficult sometimes? All right, follow me. Oh my, you guys just see that? As soon as bro got in the door, he just grew up. Well, all right, have some bamboo and stay a while. And for our final cute mob, we're going after the Arctic Fox. Now, as far as I'm aware, the Arctic Fox is not super hard to find. The only reason they're so rare is that they only spawn in one specific biome, the snowy forest. Okay, we're on the right path. This is my gingerbread house slash Christmas area. And I think there's a giant snowy forest right here. Now we just stay on the lookout. Oh, well, that was easy. <laughs> Come hither. Get on the leash. Yeah. And take a name tag. Boom. Oh, nope. Why are you in the water? You mobs are so stupid sometimes. It hurts my brain, but okay, whatever. Just get out and get your Arctic butt in the portal. Oh, don't play this game, please. You're so much faster than me. I, I, won. I got you. This is such a difficult episode. <laughs> And that is it for the cute mobs. They may be cute, but they were really annoying. And before heading out for our next set of mobs, I had the great idea of decorating all the mobs' rooms to look like their home biome. Aha, the perfect tube painting. I'm such a good hotel owner. But let's not get too confident because now it's time for the dangerous mobs. And as their title would suggest, these are rare mobs that are extremely dangerous to come across. First up, the charged creeper. And as you guys might already know, the only way to get a charged creeper is to have one get struck by lightning. So we're gonna have to summon a rainstorm. And there's only one way I know how. Oh, Mr. Cloud. Make it rain. I will fight you. Make it rain. Urgh! I command rain. This isn't working. So instead, I had to sit there and wait for the rain to come to me. Oh, okay. Go, 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 go. I got to get my shulker box and I got to take out my trident with channeling. Oh, yeah. Well, how about these apples? I am so powerful. Oh, Mr. Creeper. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, good, good, good. I gotta give him a name tag too. How am I gonna do this? I got him. Oh, it worked. Okay, now just come this way. Zombies, please stop. Please get out of the way. You're gonna blow everything up. Well, we call them the dangerous mobs for a reason. Come up this way. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Okay, okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Close the door. Okay, we got him. We got him. I don't think that room is getting decorated anytime soon, but the creeper will be fine. Oh boy. I don't think it can get any more dangerous than that, which is probably a good thing. And after that, our next mob was a skeleton horse, which normally spawned. Oh, 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 oh. I swear to you guys, I did not know this was here. You're gonna think I cheated. I did not cheat. Oh my gosh, we're so lucky. Then immediately after that, we found an even rarer mob. Come on, get up here. Oh my gosh, that is a zombie wearing full diamond armor. I don't actually know how rare he is, but he'll make a fine addition to our collection. Just gotta give these guys some name tags and we'll carefully bring them home. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, don't you even think about it. And welcome to your room. And if you'll just allow me to decorate in peace, then I can make you a magical hotel room. Okay, take care. Now, from this point on, things were actually looking pretty easy. I went to heal up my tools, get some more name tags, and start digging underground. It's time to find the cave dwellers. I got myself a silverfish and a giant slime. Why are there so many children around me? Oh, I hate this game. Oh. But there was still one really important cave mob I still needed to get. And don't you dare say the warden. I've already done that. I am not doing that again. We gotta find the legendary blue axolotl. I am not looking forward to this one. So funny story. I've actually already tried to get this mob in the past. And it did not go very well. Yeah, guys, I don't think we're gonna get one today. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. So hopefully our luck is a little bit better today. But the plan here is actually pretty simple. First, we just gotta go find a lush cave, which luckily is right underneath this brick factory. If we fly down here, hello there. And now we just gotta find some axolotls to breed. I'll be taking you and I'll be taking you. Oh, my bow broke. Dang it. But anyways, now all we gotta do is make a little home for these axolotls, which can go right here, I suppose. Good. And now very simply, we get a bunch of fish and we breed the axolotls over and over. Everybody, cross your fingers. Come on, Minecraft. Give it to me on the first try. Please, 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 please. Oh, stupid, disgusting baby. You're not blue. And as you can probably imagine, we had to repeat this process for many, many hours. And I'll save you some time here. It literally took the entire night. <gasps> we got him. Is that who I think it is? Stop moving. Give me, please. Oh, it is. It's the blue axolotl. Oh my goodness. That took way too long. See you later, alligator. Nice. I also have the feeling this guy's gonna die if I don't put water in this room. So hopefully this doesn't look too silly. I don't really care anymore. This project is taking way too long, but it's gonna be so worth it. I hope. But with the blue axolotl out of the way, it was time for us to head out and tackle the nether mobs, which actually went surprisingly well. Oh, Bastion, I'm looking for a piglin brute. Oh, target acquired. Yes, come to Farzy. Oh. Well, that didn't work. Or did it? I think he went through the portal. Ah, oh, he did, but not in the way I wanted him to. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. What is that noise? Hello? Bro, you gotta be quiet. Like, come on. That is ridiculously loud. Two more noise complaints and you're evicted. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. Well, I do both. Now we're on the hunt for some striders, but not just any strider. Jackpot. The ever elusive strider riding another strider. Hey guys, come here. I got fungus. That sounds gross. Gentle. Gentle. And take a saddle and let me on. Ah, oh, how about now? Boom. Are we good? How do I get him to move? Go, mush. Remember when I said this was going surprisingly well? Yeah, I lied. Well, I'm kind of stuck here now. No! Ah! Mush, mush, mush. I have no totem either. No. All right, forget it. I guess we just got to use a normal strider then. Uh, it's not the same. And for our last nether mob, I was going to do a ghast, but for my mental sanity, I'm probably going to skip this one. How about a cute little magma cube instead? Get 
Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Please get in the boat. Okay, well, I guess we can't do that one either. Ah! I'm fine. I'm having a great time right now. <laughs> now, up to this point, we've been working on this project for over 100 Minecraft days. But that being said, we were finally down to our final four mobs. We'll call these guys the other mobs. And you might be the perfect guy to start this party. So we captured a phantom, an ocelot, and a bat. Why? I don't think this is possible. All right, forget you. I'm sick of it. I'm replacing the bat with a B. Problem solved. And just like that, we're down to our very last mob. And I definitely saved the best for last. I just gotta find a village. Aha. Uh -huh. Now, where is he? I'm looking for the legendary green robed villager, aka the Nimwit. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I think they're actually pretty rare. I don't see them very often ever. So this might require a little bit of traveling. Wah! So many villager occupations, but no nimwits. I don't know why I'm getting so mad today, because I knew what the video was about. I'm just really impatient. But still, nothing. <gasps> Are you a nimwit? Get up, get up, get up. Can I trade with you? No, you're a nimwit. Let's go. I found you, my boy. Now get in the boat. I'm taking you to a magical place. No, 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 no. Are you a nimwit or an MLG Call of Duty player? Just get in the boat. Yes. And we're out of here. See you later, losers. I underestimated how far we have to travel back home. Must persevere. It's the last mob. Keep going, Farzy. And... Where are you going? Go back to your room. Oh, were you trying to tell me something? I just realized we have two more rooms to do. Can you go back to your room, please? Thank you. He's actually kind of smart sometimes. Ah, but okay. Final two rooms. And after that, that'll be all our residents. So I quickly grabbed a turtle and the rarest mob of them all. The chicken scientist. Hello there, Broderick. Come with me. All right, fine. I'm just kidding. But you're a smart guy. What do you think the last mob should be for my hotel? That was hurtful, Broderick. I guess we'll just use a mule or something and call it a day. And after adding some more details to the interior, we were officially done with the hotel. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap on today's episode. Make sure to like, subscribe, do all the good stuff, and I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.